I'm going to show you how to make doors in Roblox Studio. This is part one. And this one, I'll show you how to make a basic opening door that actually opens. So let's get into it. So first, just insert a part for the door. Make sure it's anchored as always. And then just, I'm going to use building tools for this because it's like, it makes it actually possible to build in Roblox. So... This is, this is my door, and I'm going to change the brick color to burnt sienna, I guess. And I'm going to change the material to wood. So it's like an actual door, and then scale is smaller right there. And that's good. Then, we're going to name this one. We're just going to name it one. Then you're going to duplicate it with building tools. You can duplicate it and it's like already inside of it when you duplicate it. We're going to go ahead and rename this one too. And then we're going to rotate it to how you want it to look when we open it. So like, like this. Change this to 0 0.25. Just like that. And then go ahead and select both of these, right click, and press group as model. And we're going to go ahead and rename the model door. And then we're going to insert a script into the door. And ignore that other script. And in the script, we're going to put local door equals script dot parent and we're going to do local one equals door dot one we're going to do local two equals door dot two and we're going to do local sound equals door dot sound even though there is no sound we're gonna add one later so just keep it there and do local function open parentheses go a line down press enter so automatically does the end and we're gonna do oh yeah make sure make sure um Change the transparency to 1 on that, and turn can collide off. Okay, go back here, and do 1 dot transparency equals 1. 1 dot can touch equals false. Then do 1 dot can collide equals false and do two dot transparency equals zero sound colon play don't worry it's it has a red underline we'll fix that go to the toolbox change this to audio change and then and then just look up door all right that sounds good right click it press copy asset id insert a sound into the store model and go down here where it says sound id and paste with control v the sound id there go back here do sound play where it actually works because if you just leave it there before you do it it won't work even though it's now there so make sure you go back and rewrite the sound play also then after that Go, go two lines down below the function that we just wrote and then do one dot touched colon connect lowercase c make sure lowercase c parentheses open oh, make sure the opens in the parentheses and then or whatever you put here also, whatever you put here needs to be in these parentheses in the connect. Alright, now we play.
test it. And then we test out the door. See, it works. And yeah, okay, now we just need to build the hallway and like all that stuff. All right, I'm done. Wait, let me just do the roof real quick. Also, um, something in case um, the roof makes it dark. And also, you don't want to have to make a new roof every time you build another room. Set the transparency to 1. And make sure you duplicate the base plate so it's locked. So, yeah, and then I'm just going to name it roof. And then make sure cast shadow is off. Make sure it's off so it's not dark. Then insert a script into this roof. And then do script. Script dot parent dot transparency equals zero. And then we can exile the script. And we can play it. The roof will be there but not in the studio. Which will make it very helpful while building see and we can go through the store it works now i'm gonna add another door right there so what you can do is press ctrl d to duplicate it and just drag it over to the other door hole and then i'm gonna go ahead and play and we can go through the door it opens it even has a sound through this door it opens and that is part one thanks for watching hope this helped you out a little and peace